So um, when I was three, my mom used to wake me up um, by taking her hands and like walking them softly along my face and singing, the wake up bug, the wake up bug. <laughs> and, then, and then she'd get to like my, whatever, my cheekbone and she'd say, what is this? Is this a big pool for me to jump into and swim around? And I would say, no, that's my eye. And then she'd be like, the wake up bug, the wake up bug. <laughs> And she said, is this a big cave for me to go camping in? No, that's my mouth. Anyway, it was kind of like a wonderful way to wake up. Um, but eventually my brother was born and the wake up bug went into retirement. And, <laughs> um, as did central heat in my home. Um, my parents decided that they wanted to uh, heat our 100 year old farmhouse with a wood burning stove in Wisconsin. And so in an effort to extend the heat distribution, they cut holes in the floor of the, uh, the two main upstairs bedrooms and then put metal grates on top of them. So our house was just ridiculously frozen all the time. And I guess my mom didn't want to have to go upstairs, so she would just shout through the grates for us to wake up in the morning. And then um, sh that shouting evolved into her taking a broomstick and banging it against the metal grate in the floor of our bedroom. And, um, and so my, my parents, uh, you know, did a lot of yelling. And um, one, of, one of the... Uh, areas of, of yelling expertise that they enjoyed was um, we, we were in a really small, small town and my mom and dad would at dinner time stand on the porch and shout our names <laughs> for us to come home. So they would just stand on the, on the porch and be like, star! And of course we're playing, so I'm like, what? And they're like, come home! And I'm like, what? family meeting about that, <laughs> where, they, where they were like, um, if you hear your name, if we're calling you, don't respond, just show up. Or you can say, coming, and show up at the house. Um, so that led to us kind of being like, oh, I didn't hear you. And um, so my mom invested in this big cowbell, and so she would stand on the porch and just ring fairly effective. We, we did hear it most, much of the time, but sometimes we were like, no, I don't know what bell you're talking about, you know? Anyway, so one day my dad um, came home giddy because he'd been at the hardware store and he learned that you could buy an air horn <laughs> for cheap. <laughs> and so um, the bell was swiftly thrown out of the picture and replaced with an air horn. So my parents would stand on the porch and blow an air horn for us to come home. And there was no, we couldn't escape the air horn um, because everyone in the whole community could hear it. So if we were to say, I don't know, I don't know what you're talking about, then like our neighbors would be like, yes, you do. So, um, so that was how we came up. And it was kind of fun to blow the air horn. Like sometimes if Sky was playing as my brother, I would be out on the air on the porch being like, you know, I don't know if you've ever blown an air horn, but it is a shockingly loud experience. <laughs> anyway, so, um, and that air horn, it just, it saw a lot of, a lot of action. Um, my parents used to take us to the engineering open house at the UW-Madison, and um, at the end of the day, my dad would stand outside of the van in the parking lot and blow the air horn to let us know, and all of the University of Wisconsin, that it was time for the Aaron's kids to come home. Anyway, so, um, what ended up happening is my mom, my, so my brother went into adolescence and my brother now is like six, seven and like, like built to pull a plow, like just a big man. And so during adolescence, he had a lot of sleeping to do and a lot of, a lot of growing and that kid could sleep like a dead bear and um, it was pretty intense. So my mom was like, I'm going to wake my children up with an air horn. Um, 
Um, that's how we were woken up in my household for a while, um, which is kind of amazing that our neighbors weren't more aggressive towards us because every night they heard the air horn on the front porch, and then every morning they hear our immediate neighbors would hear the air horn inside our home. So the <laughs> the moral of the story is if you ever want to motivate um, children to stop sleeping, stop playing, or really do anything that's like enjoyable related to that childhood, just invest in an air horn. <laughs>